Welcome. First of all, thank you for the sweet comments you left in last Sunday's video when I shared our first dream home together. This is now our second one where we get more space and a lot of nice upgrades, so we're truly grateful. I'm just showing you a few quick clips of the state of the home back in March when we went under contract. It was just in framing, and the only thing the builder had ordered were cabinets because they were taking a while to come in. Fortunately, we love them and we got in at just the right time because we were able to choose pretty much everything else. Just since I filmed this house tour, we've made some changes. We have a beautiful new front door. We've had our stairs painted. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future changes or home updates. Hey guys, today I am filming a really quick, almost empty house tour. You can look at me and tell I am sweaty, I'm hot. We've already been moving some stuff in, but we actually don't close till tomorrow. There's a backstory to how that worked out, but really quickly, I'm just gonna go through this house so you'll have to excuse any dirt, blue tape, any mess. I'll give you a quick, as empty as it's gonna be house tour. And then of course, I'll have tons of content coming where we're putting things together, but this is our dream house. We're so excited about it, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, y'all, so it's kind of dark outside, you can probably see, so I'm not going to come in from the outside, but this is the front door. We're actually getting a new front door in a couple of days, and I'm so excited about it, so this is not the front door that will stay here, but this is our entryway. Got a two-story foyer, so excited about it, y'all, and so front door here to the left is going to be my office, so on the builder's plan, it was actually a dining room. But we made an office, has a tray ceiling. I have not chosen a light fixture for that yet. We've got the barn doors to the closet where I'll keep my tripod and light ring. They're gonna change the hardware on top to top mount. I just thought it looked cleaner than that. So that'll be a little different too. And then in the office, looking out to the entryway, I've got glass doors, another shot at the ceiling. And then coming back out to the entryway, front door again. When you go over to the right, we have a drop zone here. So we can do some cute little baskets. They're gonna put some black hooks. We did a matte black theme. So this is the door to the garage. And then straight back, the laundry room. And it has a window. That's what I've always wanted. So the laundry room's here. And we did the same tile in the bathrooms and laundry room. And then the flooring is luxury vinyl plank everywhere else. And then when we get upstairs, you'll see two bedrooms were the only places we went ahead and did carpet. But anyway, this is the laundry room. We've got cabinets and a sink here. I do want to change the wire shelf one day, but we'll get to that. We just had blinds hung this morning. And then backing out of the laundry room is our powder room. And we've got a light fixture here, mirror here, sink and vanity here with all the black fixtures. And I chose all of the mirrors and light fixtures, so that was fun. And this is back to the front door, and then there is storage under the steps, which is really nice since we now have a Christmas tree, as some of you know. So coming in again, straight back from the front door, this is the living room. We just got our TV mounted too. <laughs> And then I am so excited about these coffered ceilings. Oh my goodness. And then this is actually a fandelier. So my husband wanted a fan in here since the ceilings are pretty tall. I didn't want it to take away from the coffered ceiling. So we found this fandelier and we love it. And then fireplace here. We didn't have one before. We didn't think we needed one, but now we're excited to have one. And then you're looking into the kitchen. This is going to be the breakfast area. We actually sold our dining set and got a round table since it's a different layout. And then, like I said, it's dark, but that's the patio door. We have a screened-in covered porch. And y'all know I love a white kitchen, so I still wanted that. But this time, we have a black island. We have a vent hood. There's going to be a little change to that that I'll tell you about. We still love the clean, classic look of the subway tile backsplash, but we did the wavy tile and we've got under cabinet lighting. <laughs> and then the microwave is in the island. So our island isn't quite as big as the last one. It doesn't have cabinets on both sides, but we do have good storage. We've got drawers on either side of the stove, which we did not have before. And more lights that I got. 
And then our pantry is here. So that was a must. We wanted to still have a walk-in pantry. So we've got shelving here and shelving here. Nice size walk-in. Could not give that up. Refrigerator's coming in the morning. And then something we're also really excited about. So when you come around the kitchen, you're back at the office. And then we have a coffee bar. So I'm backing up into the master bedroom. And when you walk out of the master, you've got a coffee bar here, same backsplash, under cabinet lighting. We did the same quartz countertops throughout. The black to match the island. So you're right here off the kitchen. And again, right here at the master. So you can come out and get your coffee. And then this is the master. Sorry, my husband has to mount that sound bar, but we've got another tray ceiling, recessed lights. This light fixture is like the round one in our current bedroom. I wanted another one, so I got square. This TV got mounted today. We don't have bay windows, but I'm gonna get a humongous mirror, bigger than the one I have now, in between these two. Our bed's gonna go here, that's coming Friday. Then we walk into the master. It's kind of a mess because they put our shower doors on today, but we have a white tile shower. We use the same tile as our backsplash. The niche is the smaller version of the floor tile. Black hardware again. Got two heads, which we're really happy about. That's the sprayer, but you can run them both at the same time. Okay, and now turning around, this is our vanity. So happy to have separate mirrors this time instead of the big builder plate mirror. And then this is our linen closet. It's about probably the same width as the other one, but it's just a lot deeper. And we had to put a light in this one because of the size. And then separate water closet here. And then I will show the master closet in another video because we've just put a bunch of stuff in there and don't have it organized. So that will be something totally separate. And then now we're back out into master where the coffee bar is, kitchen. And then going up the steps, there's another shot of the two-story foyer, the light fixture, and looking down into the entryway. And then to the left at the top of the steps, we've got our first bedroom. This is going to be the guest bedroom, so we're going to use our current bedroom set in here. Bed will go on this wall, it's got a big window. Dresser will go on this wall. And then a huge walk-in closet. This will be the TV that goes in here. Very big closet with some attic access in there. And then back out across from it, this back bedroom that's actually over the master is gonna be our gym. So it's almost identical. It just has a single window instead of the double. Also a very big walk-in closet. Okay, and then at the top of the stairs to the right, we've just got a linen closet here. In the hall bathroom, dual sink vanity, we did the separate mirrors. There was a miscommunication with the light fixture. Hello. And I thought that the builder was doing nickel up here, so I bought nickel lights and didn't find out until after they were installed that they were planning to do black up here too. So I mixed the metals. I got the idea off Pinterest. It turned out really nice, I think. And then this is the oops, shower in here. We just did the standard subway tile with white grout and they are changing this hardware to black as well. And you just got a window, new toilet. Got a coat closet here. And then the very last room is our bonus room. It's actually a fourth bedroom because it has its own bathroom and closet, but we're gonna use it as a bonus room and put a pool table in here. It's nice and big. I'm going to walk to the back and then pan around so you can see. So we've got a window here. TV's already mounted. That's the bonus room. These fans don't give off the best light. They were super cheap at Lowe's and we just had our builder install them, but we might change those. But this is the bathroom. They're going to put a taller plate mirror here to touch the base of the light. Same color cabinets as in the hall bath, same countertops, black fixtures, same tile. 
And then this also has a white subway tile shower with the black door. They haven't put the door on the other bathroom yet either, but this is the black door. Little nook for the toilet. Another linen closet, tons of storage. And then the last thing, this one also has its own walk-in closet with a window. So y'all, we've got so much storage space. It's gonna be so much fun organizing, decorating. Actually, I'm gonna close these blinds. Um, get everything together. So I hope you're excited. Sorry this was super quick and I was looking a mess at the beginning, but it has been a long day and we've got more moving to do tomorrow. So stay tuned for more vlogs. Love you guys. Bye.